Hey, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you want me to play your deck on stream, feel free to reach out. Contact information in the description below. Also, I stream Legacy Live almost every day at twitch.tv slash unzmtg. So come by and say hi. It's time for some magic. Let's get to it. It's a deck that we've, we we know it exists, right? Uh, Turbo Reanimator, Black Red Reanimator, except this time for science, we're trying out some new cards. So Modern Horizons 2 actually spoiled a couple of crazy cards, right? And and that's what we are, are testing out today. Uh, the primary card is going to be Unmarked Grave here, one in a black for a sorcery that says you can put a non-legendary card into your graveyard from your deck and then shuffle. Um, so we have a couple new treats from Modern Horizons 2 that we can put in the graveyard with this card. We have Archon of Cruelty, which is six black black, and it's a flying six six that says when it ETBs or attacks, opponent uh, target opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker, discards a card and loses three life, and then we draw a card and gain three life. And then also we have access to Sarah's Emissary, which, uh, you know, it does give me some Iona vibes, uh, but is a little bit different. It says, as Sarah's Emissary ETBs, choose a card type and you and creatures you control have protection uh, from the chosen card type. So these are some interesting targets here. Uh, and then, you know, to round it out, we have one Sire of Insanity that, you know, might do Sire of Insanity things. Not really high on this card, but Sire of Insanity known quantity. But yeah, so these six cards are new cards from uh, Modern Horizons 2 that are sort of you know, bringing another angle into this deck, uh, you'll notice that to make space for them, we have actually cut cards like Faithless Looting and Chancellor of the Annex. Uh, oh, yeah, also Modern Horizons 2 brings us Grief, uh, with the the first uh, elemental incarnation that was spoiled, and people, like, you know, sort of lost their mind over it. And now I feel like it's not even, like, the craziest uh, elemental, like, Solitude and Endurance have certainly, like, taken the, the lead in being the most useful elementals but grief is you know an addition to this deck as well i think in, in regular reanimator we're seeing like three unmasked two grief and uh this deck just features the full eight no chancellors but instead we have more griefs and i kind of dig it right the downside to grief is that you can't target yourself which is going to be kind of relevant you know when you have like lines that say unmasked target myself pitch gristle brand okay reanimate gristle brand on turn one but grief gives you that extra insulation uh, against opponent interaction like whether it is you know force of will days crop rotation endurance endurance is a big one um you know things like that right so i don't know also grief being four mana means that it is very hard castable means you can actually like try to get multiple griefs into play and just like start attacking them which is relevant because your creature does have menace so it's not really easy to block but yeah, we have traded Faithless Lootings and Chancellor of the Annexes for Unmarked Graves and Griefs. And you can see this is more of like a mono black reanimator list more than anything else here. I mean, I say mono black, but then we have a copy of Badlands, Bayou, and Underground Sea for sideboard options here. But yeah, I mean, you guys are no strangers to anyone who has played reanimator before, whether it is in Cube, whether it is in Legacy, whether it is in Modern. The, the trick here is you want to get a quick a turn one uh fatty into play here whether it is archon gristlebrand sire or sarah's emissary and you do this by leveraging reanimation spells like reanimate exhume and you have enablers like entomb that can put any card into your graveyard this is the legacy all-star but then the modern version of this slightly nerfed unmarked grave is kind of cool uh yeah so I think it's pretty straightforward here. I think the goal of today's video is going to be is going to see like, hey, without Faithless Looting in our deck, you know, do we actually have a real product here? And I've play tested this deck a little bit already on stream. That's twitch.tv slash unzmtg. And it's it's kind of interesting. I had mixed results. I ended up going five and six here. Uh, you know, this deck is at the end of the day uh, reanimated where you do have some busted draws, but then you also have a little bit of variance that you fall to um, just in the sense that you don't have Brainstorm Ponder. So sometimes you have to mulligan aggressively to find your key pieces here. And, uh, you know, I want you guys to be the judge here, but in the sideboard, we've got uh, a couple tools here. We have got the full playset of Reverend Silence, which is why we're playing the Bayou, good against Leyline of the Void very specifically. One copy of Shenanigans, which I think is excellent in this list. You have four Entombs and four Unmarked Graves to bin this card into the graveyard, which is, makes it very, very accessible. Coffin Purge as well, same thing, Entomb and Unmarked Grave. We'll put this into the graveyard. And this is good for... You know, reanimator mirrors, graveyard decks, maybe. I don't think I would board this in against Uro necessarily, but something you could do. Additional discard in the form of duress, good against combo. Fairy Macabre is kind of an interesting one. I have no real comment on it, except it can't be countered, so maybe that's good. And gets around things like Chancellor of the Annex, so maybe that's good, like Days as well. I, who knows? It's hard to say. Memory's Journey is a card that 
It's kind of interesting, too. So it's good against Doomsday, at least when I see this card, I think of Doomsday. Target player shuffles up to three target cards from the graveyard into the library, but also good against reanimation. So, or like graveyard in general. So if your opponent puts Thassa's Oracle on the stack, you can put three cards back on top of their deck, and then Thassa's Oracle fizzles. And then Serenity needs no introduction. I think this is a pretty staple card, getting rid of multiple hate permanents in one fell swoop, finally. And Iona for crazy decks like Elves, Burn, or maybe even like the Mirror Match, things like that. Variety, a little bit of variety. Or Iona on blue against like Thassa's Oracle decks to sort of lock them out here. Uh, my gut reaction after testing this deck a little bit is that Faithless Looting, the Faithless Looting version is 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 probably better. Uh, but I want to you know show you guys a little bit of the power of Unmarked Grave and let you guys come to the conclusions yourselves. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, you know before we get into it, obviously don't forget to leave a like, uh, hit the subscribe button, and then you know leave leave a, a little comment in the algorithm to you know make me look good in front of my boss. I guess yeah, we'll put it that way. All right, see you for round number one. We'll get to it. Oh, okay. Well, will I win the game? What? Somebody put 166,000 points onto yes? Oh, okay, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Never mind, this must have been the old one. Um. Oh, poor Allie said, good luck, have fun. We keep this, right? Dark Ritual, Lotus Petal, Entomb, and Animate Dead. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. All right, Mox Diamond, sure. Can we get some real decks, please? No, sir. I'm on my way to a 5 0. No, sir. I'm on my way to a 5 0. Oh, they could have like Bajuka Bog. Oh, man. Dark Ritual, huh? Oh, come on, man. When has lands ever? Gone Mox Diamond, Wooded Foothills Pass. When have they ever done that? Uh, I mean, I'm in a fucking jam. You're right. Uh, let's go Verdant Catacomb, Swamp, Dark Ritual, and Tombing Zoom. And the good news is, is that unlike the other deck with Faithless Looting, this deck has... Wait, if Gristlebrand dies, how do we win? Sarah's Emissary can't get... Oh, you can get protection from a land? To stop... To stop Maze of It? <laughs> Is that true? Protection from land does nothing? Wait, they literally can't beat Archon of Cruelty? You don't understand the hurry? Maybe I'm supposed to wait. I'm just pretty sure they have fucking crop rotation, dude. Oh, because Maze of It doesn't give a shit about... Yeah, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, yeah. Wait, don't they just make a 2020? Yeah, 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 they make a 2020, right? Okay. So here's the thing, right? If I want to play around, if I want to play around crop rotation, I don't think I want to go for Archon here. I think I'd rather just go for the Gristle Brand. Because Gristle Brand will get us to Archon. We have enough, right? You want to go for Sire? I don't know about Sire. I think I'm just going to go Gristle Brand, whatever. And then I think Animate Dead is a little worse here than Exhum, so. I don't think I've ever seen. <clears throat> okay, whatever. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, all right. Ugh. I guess uh, we both knew what matchup we're in, so it's fine. Um, I think we hold here. And now the good news is we have seven outs. Seven outs. Oh. Okay. Sure. This is good. <laughs> oh, I don't think I need I did I didn't need a dark ritual. Okay. Mm, how about Archon of Cruelty? Do you have a second Bajuka Bog? I bet you don't. Why ever be punished? 
<laughs> lol. <laughs> read the read the title. What is it? The title says praise Gristlebrand, okay? All right? Look, I'm on his side. And he's on mine. Choose this card. Exhume. Thank you. Okay. I, I'm probably just going to try to hard cast this thing, right? Streamer paid for MTGO premium? <laughs> what is... What the hell is this? Reveal the top four cards. They got... Tabernacle. Okay. Yes. Delta. Attack. And now they discarded field. All right. That's kind of crazy, actually. What the hell? I hope there is nothing. So... Ah! <laughs> Sorry. Woo! Too easy. Sorry. All right. I'm going to select blue for this one. Run back the prediction here. Um... Again, I don't think Sire is particularly good in this matchup. Maybe I was supposed to just get rid of. Maybe I. Maybe, maybe you were right, Bruno. Force of negation. It's unfair. Blue I'm not even playing blue. Standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. Uh, I'm not even playing blue. Getting excited for beating Lance. What are you talking about, Jax? I take it. I take everything. I take everything I could get. Um. So I do want to keep all my discard, I think. In fact, maybe Duress is just better than Thoughtseize. I don't really care about their Loams. They have like Spheres, maybe? Hmm. This is kind of tricky, actually. What the hell? Actually, Ashen Rider probably is good as well, too, right? I don't know how good Sarah's Emissary is. I don't think Sarah's... Wait, why do I have Iona? What the hell? I don't think I want Iona. Iona on green? <laughs> For one sub a month. You too. Yeah, I don't think I want Iona. The, maybe the Sarah's Emissary is just better. The reason I don't I, I want Iona is because, like... They can still just play lands and kill me. And they still have a lot of things they can do that it doesn't require. Although Mulch... Mulch is kind of an interesting one. Um, Sarah's Emissary gives me protection for Merit Lodge, which is not bad, so I might as well do that. And then Ashen Rider. Okay. Sure. So the question is, how do I make space for these? Maybe I'm supposed to just cut some Thought Seizes. Is that crazy? They're going to go, like, they're going to mulligan down to turn one sphere or something like that. Well, that's why it's interesting, right? Because it's, like, 2004, 2005 nonsense tech, but it's, like, 2021. So why are we revisiting this card 17 years later? Maybe Ali's playing it over Sylvan Library. But then again, Thoughtseize is also good against, like, like crop rotation. Hmm... I will submit YOLO. We'll see what happens. Mmm! Wow, I love this hand! Well, sometimes, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes. <laughs> oh, the prediction's, uh, in, though, right? Like... Oh, did I not make another prediction for this next one? Hello? Oh, okay. L l lucky you, I guess. Mulligan this one for sure. I don't know what you want from me. I genuinely do not know what you want from me. I am better than this? What do you mean? Oh, okay. Well, you're right. You're right. I did put the seven back and I did get a better six. You are absolutely correct. I know I can do better.
Yo, Tim, what's up, dude? It's kind of crazy because... Oh, snap! With the resub, too, Tim! Two years! Let's go! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about! That's what I'm fucking talking about! Oh my god, dude, what's up? Alright, they went Thespian Stage Pass. So, I'm just gonna destroy them. Unmask, cast this, target you. I guess I'll pitch the animate dead. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll take the endurance. Dark ritual. Entomb. And they have crop rotation here. Can I just get Gristlebrand now? Why did I pitch the animate dead? I don't know. We just draw it, dude. I fucking, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know, dude. I just figured we're going to draw something. We're going to draw into a bunch of stuff. Emissary protection from creatures? Why wouldn't I just get Archon here again? I, I guess they could just, like, go draw a land and then a couple turns make a thing. You know what? Let's show some love to our boy here, right? What's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, uh, unmask you, and I guess we'll just pitch the, oh, but then they get their endurance back. I think I'll just pitch the unmarked grave now. And uh, I think I'm done here. Wasteland crop rotation for Knackle. That is um, spooky. I think I'll just pass here, right? Well, they have to draw a green source, though. Well, hey, <laughs> news. This just in. Gristlebrand shits on... Ah, uh, well, that's a little bit late, buddy. Um, ooh, that doesn't do anything either. I guess that's something interesting, right? This deck can't get rid of... Oh, I should have certainly entombed in response to that. Hmm. Well, live and learn, I guess. Does Dark... Is it worth it to pay life for Dark Ritual here? Dark Ritual is the only card that generates additional mana. I mean, the problem is, is that even after we Dark Ritual, we would need, what, five mana total? We'd only have three, four mana? Yeah, so I think I'm just going to pass. Draw seven and discard the Rider. Oh, that's... Um, not actually against that. Ah, no, it, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, that's a little bit spooky. Um, but I will entomb here, and then do I just grab Archon? No, now I feel like I should just get the the Sarah's emissary, right? Sarah's emissary, and then uh. Have protection from creatures. Yeah, I, I think... Oh, I could also... Uh, yeah, th this is the other thing, too. If I want to get rid of Ashen Rider from my hand, it basically has to be through Unmask because we don't have Faithless Looting or Discard Naturally. So Overdraw, like you were suggesting earlier in the chat. How is that spooky? I don't know. All right, well, cool. Okay! So we don't have a reanimation spell. Oh, but this hand is so good otherwise. And we can always just cast the grief as well.
Is this a keep? I feel like with London Mulligan, we can get something better, right? Because keep in mind, we we get what we draw now. You know, we don't have like, we don't have um, the chip on the play. My gut reaction says is that my gut reaction says we can get greedy, not greedy, but I think we're allowed to mulligan this six, this seven to a six. Yeah. This is good. All right, looks like Sam is only getting to six as well. All right, no more, no more Doom music. So let's start with a swamp into a thought seize. Whoa! <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Respect. I think we just take the days here, right? Okay. I'm going to take the days. Is that right? I don't know, man. I don't fucking know, dude. Are we in the 2008? <laughs> I don't know, man. This this shit's whack. This shit's so whack. Misty rainforest. Okay. The goose is loose. <laughs> Omega lol, indeed. Oh my god. We got this. We got this. It's just too easy. It's too easy. Hmm. So I guess the downside to this hand, uh, well, that's not even true. If we draw into Unmask, another Thought Seize, we have so many good draws here, right? So any of our 11 discard spells, any of our 11 discard spells, or any of our seven enablers is good here. So that's 18 by my math. 18 by my math should have taken the goose <laughs> i mean i like scott's line a little bit more they went no shuffle interesting well i guess i'm not in a rush to do anything then so we'll just sit and wait okay so it looks like they found another piece of interaction. Uh, in which case, I guess... That was unfortunate. I guess we'll just pass again. Mismatch swamps? I don't know, man, dude. Don't leave me alone. Dude, I'm playing I'm playing around predict, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. We can always discard the Sarah's Emissary as well in a couple turns. If they just do nothing, like, fuck. <laughs> okay. Although the fact that they, they didn't um, play the Nimble Mongoose here... Also makes me uh, feel things. What does that mean? Why were they not playing the Momongoose here? Wait, this is an even pull. Hello? What? How do I see how much is... Uh... I played too much DNT? Oh, XD. <laughs> Somewhere out there, there's a DNT mage who's proud of me, okay? It's definitely not... Oh, it's definitely not... Uh... Jason, and it's definitely not John Ryan, so. All right. Ooh, the DIY. The DI Wizzy. Also, if we get this into play, they chose to shuffle, sure. Well, I too can generate card advantage. It'll take me a little bit of time, though. I think I'm just going to hold. You have to tap out eventually. Okay, I guess not. Oh, what if this is Merc Tide Reach? Oh, never mind. Monkey, sure. Sag. That is kind of annoying. 
Okay, we drew in Tomb. Does that help? All right, well now I will... <clears throat> I mean, the good news is, is we have literally nothing. I guess Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize would be annoying. Huh! Da, 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 da. They got Exhume, sure. Do, 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 do. Force of will it... No, this is probably going to get Force of Negation, actually, if I had to guess. Nimble Mongoose, man. Wow. Insane. How is it? I mean, okay, the only reason you'd ever play Nimble Mongoose is because you want to play Nimble Mongoose, right? Not because you actually... There's no other reason. This card is so outclassed in 2021. It's actually just insane. Why are we not playing our lands, Dungeon Master? I wanted to naturally discard the Sarah's Emissary. Um, get to eight cards, and then because they had no threat, right? So if they're not doing anything, do I have to do anything? No. They're the ones who have to finish me before I kill them. Whatever I'm doing is bigger and better and better than what they've got. Oh, they're thinking. Huh. Do, 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 do. Force of will pitches stifle. All right, that's fine. This is a sorcery, though. They might have another stifle, though. I mean, I think you could tell they had stifle. All right, another verdant catacomb. So... I actually think here I'm going to fetch first and bait the second stifle that they're holding on to, they, that they don't have, uh, clearly. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> force pitching spell pierce, which I beautifully played around. Man, if I had just taken the Nimble Mongoose, I guess uh, I could have blocked this monkey. Oh, they can't even... Yeah, that's that's crazy, actually. Mongoose hasn't, it hasn't been playable in longer than years. I wanted that, actually. I guess they can, like, unmark grave something. I don't know what they would unmark grave, but whatever. Oh, this is a 3-3 three, three now. Okay, well... What do we draw? Unmask? Okay, fine. All right, this is actually a little bit tricky. So they didn't stifle my fetches when they had spell pierce in hand. So if they had, so if they had, yeah, okay, so I think we can conclude they do not have stifle because 5C Blood Moon, thank you for the follow. Um, <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> because they had Spell Pierce, and they would have definitely stifled the fetch land to turn their Spell Pierce on. Therefore, I will not play around Stifle here, which means the Animate Dead will be fine. However, the question is, what about Reanimate? Now, Reanimate loses to Double Bolt. So I think I'm just going to do this and YOLO. They could have Spell Snare. Oh, yeah. I forgot. This deck plays everything, right? Nice. Nice. So now we just named Creature. Okay. And this thing keeps the big booty too, right? Um, I have protection from the chosen card type. So I have protection from... I have protection from Raghavan. Unless they have Borrower. Well, no, uh, oh, because Petty Theft is... Yeah. 
All right, I'm just going to go ahead and spam this to put Archon in the bin now. Or triple bolt? You mean quad bolt? Sure. Huh! You got me! Hmm. Okay. Just keep top decking, just keep top decking, just keep top decking, top decking, top decking. Easy. All right, cool. What do we want now? Again, I think Sire is just bad. Like, I think I might rather have Ashen Rider instead. Against their deck, I would like the Duresses. And maybe Shenanigans. I will not bring in anything else. Serenity, Memories Journey, Reverence, Silence. Yeah. That's crazy. The fact that we have four basics in our deck means that we get to actually like land go and just put basics into play forever? Question mark. Or I could just cut these and not bring either of these in and like rely on like grief and then like this is, these are our win conditions, right? Payout prediction. Hmm. Good point. All right. I'll start another one too. This is where it gets tricky though. This is where it gets tricky because I feel like now against Delver, yo... This is where it gets tricky. I don't know. Thoughtseize does not seem as good. Like, at the bare minimum, I think I want to just make a, the lateral side grade. Lateral upgrade? That doesn't make sense. Because the lateral is side to side. But then if you go up, then you're... I guess technically, if you go, like, diagonally, that's, like, lateral motion too. Just, like, also vertical motion. But then, like, a lateral side grade is, like, redundant, right? A la la lateral upgrade? Swap? Okay, fine. Swap might be a better word. Um... Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe Unmask can go and we just keep the Thought Seizes instead. Is this crazy? But everything is a function of mana, right? Everything is a function of mana. Everything is a function of mana. Oh, that sounds really wise. That sounds really wise. Shenanigans is just for Graph Digger's Cage. It's not crazy, you think? Okay. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'm down to experiment. Winning, winning is not the final... It's not the end all, right? I think we get to mulligan this one. Although if I had to guess, <clears throat> if I had to guess, they're probably just going to play like super scared the whole game, right? So I could technically just like keep a do-nothing hand. Yeah, well, this is unfortunate. So I think we put back grief. <clears throat> And reanimate. And the reason I'm putting back grief is uncastable right now. I don't have cards to spare for it. And then reanimate is a bit too expensive, so. That's pretty good, actually. So I could just wait a turn on the Thoughtsies. If I wait a turn on the Thoughtsies, I get to play around Days a little bit better. Now, if they have Stifle and Days, I'm not beat. I'm not. I'm not going to beat that. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think we just need to get all the value out of our cards here. <clears throat> did they keep seven? They did. Is is <laughs> is this a 
twin situation XD. The problem is, is like, if we play another Thoughtseize here, if we play another Thoughtseize here, and they daze the Thoughtseize after I play my Polluted Delta, I feel like I'm not allowed to fetch. All right, Sarah's Emissary. But now I think I have to make moves. They chose to not shuffle their second. Okay. Hmm. Well, I will take a brainstorm here. And I guess they're just going to bolt. What? Why do we have bolt if we're not going to use it? Hello? Okay. Oh, because they knew the top card of their library, I guess. Sure. And now they get Flooded Strand. And that'll make this a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. So now the clock is actually on. What is our best draw here? I'm not really sure. Swamp? Swamp is a pretty good one. Ha, that's kind of funny. I could reanimate their Dragon's Rage Channeler with Exhum to shave off the clock. So here we just have to get Archon, right? And then just hope for the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, they would get back Dragon's Rage Channeler and then they would no longer have Delirium. Which is not, like, a good play on this board state. Don't get me wrong. So all we know about is that I really just want to land. I really just want to land. Unmasked. That'll do it, too. If they daze, I pay. Oh, that's brutal. That's brutal. So I could have played around Surgical Extraction by... Unmasking myself. And then just exhuming. But I chose to play around Force of Will here. Hmm. That's not brutal, it's GG. Really? Alright... So we actually, yeah, we're just dead. No. Oh, yeah, they have no nimble mongoose now. Okay. All right, I'm going to concede. Yep, I don't think there was a... It's kind of a coin toss, right? They just never drew force this game. Take three, go down to one. Dark Ritual doesn't save us. Okay, cool. Next. <clears throat> Select pink. I told you this one would be trickier. I told you this one would be trickier. Then again, we were also in a mulligan down to five. So I'm not really worried about it. Here's the interesting thing. I guess Coffin Purge and Memories Journey technically play around Surgical and stuff. But I don't think that's really worth it. Um, I would like to cut one of these for an Unmask. I don't know. Thoughtseize does not seem especially pleasing to me. And I'm going to cut the shenanigans, too. And if they have Graph Digger's Cage, they have Graph Digger's Cage. Why not take the draw step there? There's no draw that gets us into that game. Because they attack us down to three, we go down to one, and we can't fetch with the Polluted Delta, which means that even if we draw our best card, which is probably Entomb, definitely is Entomb, I can Grave for the Memories Journey. I don't know. That doesn't... I think when I'm on the play, I'd rather, like, just go full ham. You know what I mean? All right, I'll give it a couple seconds for the, uh... 
for the prediction to pan out. No, no strat. Wow, and this one is dead ass even. Dead ass even. 27 to 28k. I just want to know who's who's voting where, by the way. Who was voting where? How do I I can't, I wish I could see who's voting like I want to know who thinks I'm going to lose this game before I draw my 7 cuz I'm going to bust it out. I'm going to bust it out. This is it. I'm going to bust it out. <laughs> you believe in me? Oh my god, XJ said he oh XJ predicted yes. All right. Would like to play first. Hell yeah, I would. Oh, man. So this hand has none of it, right? It just has interaction. And it doesn't even have mana. Like, I'd consider this hand a lot more if this was, like, basic swamp. Uh, yes. This one seems pretty good. So let me just walk through the steps real quick. Dark Ritual, Entomb, Reanimate. And... Dark Ritual, Entomb, Reanimate. Maybe I'm supposed to just put back the, uh... Animate dead here? No, no, I'm sorry, the Unmask? Right, that just seems better. <clears throat> Although, there is a real upside here to keeping the unmask over the animate, uh, over the um, something else, over the duress, I guess. If I keep the unmask, then they're not allowed to force a will the dark ritual. Because I would have to go dark ritual into duress. So I'm just going to hope that they don't have two pieces of interaction on turn one. They mulligan to six as well. How is this better? Yeah, yeah, no, this is this is this is this is a good hand. I'm just I'm just like wondering whether or not we can bottom the unmask or not, right? And I think the answer is is the reason we unmask pitching animate dead on turn one is because of force of will on dark ritual, which prevents us from doing anything. So I'm gonna bottom duress here. Yeah. And then mulligan to six two, which makes me feel a lot better. Blue-black? Oh, no, this is mono-black, my friend. Alright, what you got? Oh, my God, dude! <laughs> ah, they have it all! Fuck! <clears throat> well, then. This was a pretty good mulligan to six. Uh Zoinks. Force of negation. It's unfair. Blue got too much this year. Standing at the concession, plotting his oppression. I fucking hate blue, dude. Blue sucks. Um here. I don't know, man. Whatever. Fuck it. <clears throat> Force pitching stifle. Okay. So we know their hand. Yikes. I, I guess. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. Sure. I'm cool with that. Damn, we had a, such a good mulligan to six. 
Found the secret best egg. Yikes. Oh my god. They chose to shuffle. Nice. Land. Yes! God, I'm so fucking good at this game. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give it to me! I want it more. I want it more. It's just Archon here, right? Or is it the one of Gristlebrand? Fuck it. Challenge mode? Get grief? Taking the Ragavan and reanimating it? With <laughs> uh, no shot they have double bolt. I mean, they did double bolt us last game. And they went Ponder Shuffle. It just has to be Gristlebrand. They're pausing. They're fucking pausing. Holy moly. Um, Yeah, I'll just pass. Oh, I guess Gristlebrand opens me up to Stifle a little bit, but I'm just going to attack and hope they don't have fucking Caracas. Fuck! You're fucking kidding! Oh my god! Wow. Talk about fucking rage, man. Oh my god. All right, they have monkey still. <laughs> what? Like, why? How? What? I don't know what to say, man. Fuck it, goddamn. Okay, Dark Ritual is a good draw. I should just entomb here, right? We have three, four, five mana. <clears throat> this plays around Spell Pierce. I'm so fucking angry, man. <laughs> okay. Everything about this game is so t I'm getting fucking trolled. Oh, I'm getting trolled, dude. Oh, I deserve this. I deserve this. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, fine. And now they have monkey. They have monkey. All right, so here's the deal. We actually just have to jam in the days right now. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my god, dude. And then brainstorm into fucking surgical. Just fuck me up, fam. No! No! Come on! Come on, dude! Oh my god! 